Happy good morning from Nevada. Wow, so sunny, so pretty. I swear every other one of my videos is filmed in a hotel room these days. This one couldn't wait until I get home. I need to order it ASAP because my DMs have been flooded with requests for trying out this stuff. And after I watched the ad that they've been running on Instagram, I can see why. Camel toe, the cleavage between the toes of a large ungulate. Slang for that thing where the seam of your leggings gets a little too friendly. We're over camel toe and VPL and swamp crotch. And wow, everyone knows you're wearing a thong today because your leggings are fully see-through. Weak waistbands that flip, slip and dip with every burpee, mountain climber or trick and arsena. We're over polka dot, tie-dye, zebra leaf and galaxy print. Piles of seasonal hashtag must-haves and not a thing to wear. We've had it with live, laugh, love, you go girl, namaste, rise and grind, glib platitudes. Motivational quotes that only motivate you to roll your eyes. We want to run, <laughs> jump, sweat and play with nothing in the way. We want to feel sucked in, not held back. We want no bullshit. We are LNDR. Like I'm sold, aren't you? So we're gonna see if this stuff lives up to their own hype. Okay, so I wanna say one time like a year or two ago, I got one of their seamless sports bras. And if I remember correctly, their stuff is kind of expensive. 138 for this top, 88 for a sports bra. Dang, this little sweatsuit is almost $600. <laughs> My reflection in the mirror back there is kinda creepy. <laughs> Much better. Oh, I kind of like these Comet leggings and they're on sale. Yeah. Ooh, and then this crop top with it. All right, I'm real curious to see why these track pants are this expensive. Ooh, <gasps> look at these shorts. I like how they come down lower in the back. I feel like that has been what I've been searching for my whole life and I didn't even know it. I feel like I need a sports bra. Ooh, okay, this one would look cool with the shorts. Okay, now I think we have a good mix. 7.65. Okay, our luxurious seamless kind of expensive camel toe free swamp crotch free actor is on its way. I'd pay for the expedient shipping, so I'm hoping it'll get home the same time I do. Great news. Our LNDR stuff has officially been delivered, so I'm on my way home to go get it. And to also go get my puppy, because let's be honest, we really miss him. <laughs> it's just not hope scope without Leo. Don't worry, he's been having a blast at his grandma's house this week though. So I'm gonna get on the road. It is approximately a seven hour drive back up to Idaho. And we are gonna kill some time with a good old audiobook. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. They're offering you guys an awesome deal. You can get your first audiobook and two Audible originals for free when you try Audible free for 30 days. You can visit audible.com slash hope or you can text hope to 500-500. As you can see, Tyler and I have quite the library here. Most of them are some sort of self-help book. <laughs> These two at the top of the list are probably the ones I'm gonna listen to today. Sleep smarter because, hi, hello, sleep is so important for your health and success. And then Elena Cardone's Build an empire, how to have it all. Nice little girl power book. Another cool thing that Audible offers are the Audible Originals, which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers. If you have some goals you're working on for the new year, Audible is the perfect way to help you achieve them because there are tons of titles that can help you achieve your goals, get you motivated. Did you know that it's actually scientifically proven that if you listen to like a self-help audiobook while you work out, it has a crazy impact on your brain? which makes it more likely for those things to actually happen in your life. But it's not just for self-help stuff. Audible has an unmatched selection of audio shows, news, comedy, and with your library, you can access your book at any time. There's also a great listen guarantee, so if you end up not liking it, you can swap it out. Audible has a new year challenge for both current and new members that if you finish three books by March 3rd, you get a $20 Amazon credit. It's that simple, three books by the third. And you don't even have to do anything to enter. Audible will just keep track of your progress for you. To get started, go to audible.com slash hope, or like I said you can text code hope to 500500. Happy listening. Okay, let's get on the road. LNDR has arrived. Hi. Are you ready for this? Because I'm so ready for this. So this is a little bit of a different setup than I usually do. My YouTube room is in a little bit of chaos because I am getting rid of most of my active wear. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of most of my leggings, but I'm gonna be honest, this many clothes has been stressing me out lately. <laughs> so they're going on Poshmark, and I'm also giving a bunch of them away via Instagram. Um, Leo, buddy, how you doing? Buddy, he just chilling in his chair. You know, I thought I was gonna do this whole thing standing, but I think I have changed my mind. Yeah, this is better. All right. Liam, opening it! Ta-da! It's pretty, huh? <laughs> Do I see the sparkles? I'm already excited. All the joggers. Hey, what do we even start with here? What do you want to start with? Start off with a bang here. I mean, they feel great. Really not quite like anything I own at all. I definitely don't have any knit joggers. Oh, look 
and look and um the thing that attaches the tag is a hair elastic. I saw that that wear Tala brand does this. I wonder if that's where they got it. Cute idea though. We're gonna see how they actually like look and fit when they're on, but I'm pretty impressed by this fabric. It's very plushy, very lightweight. All right, here are what are now the most expensive joggers I own. Are they insanely comfy? Yes. Are they worth it to me? I don't really know. Only because they're not like the most flattering joggers that I've ever put on. I like the back. I mean, that contouring's nice though, but I'm not living for the front. The waistband feels amazing. I like the little ankle cuffs. I'm sure it's really stinking cute as a set though with the matching sweater. We're gonna try these ones out next. These are the ultra form. Size large, wait. That was an accident. US size eight to 10. Sometimes I'm an eight, so maybe. They feel amazing. Like definitely Lululemon type quality and feel, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they're gonna be more opaque. They just have a little more density to them. Cause some leggings, the fabric doesn't necessarily feel like it's made to stretch, if you know what I mean. Made in Lithuania. Okay, these larges don't fit too terribly. As you can probably kind of tell the waistband's a little big. I know they'd be sliding down during a workout. <laughs> but in the right size. These feel like a phenomenal legging. This is my favorite kind of fabric that's a little more performancey. Gonna hold up, gonna wick away the sweat. The seams feel like amazing quality. Double lined seamless waistband, makes your bum look nice. Oh, we gotta squat test them. We are under very harsh lighting right now. Like I literally have like six studio lights on me right now. So this is gonna be a very good indicator. How are we looking? Pretty good. Let's open the shorts. No, let's do a top. Okay, this is the gray marl knitted sports bra. These seams along the armhole and neckline do feel pretty thick, so I'm interested to see if it's still comfy or if that digs in. First impressions are good. It's that stretchy, plushy knit that I like. There is no built-in support, which kind of surprises me. I was expecting like a shelf bra or pads or something, and it is a size small medium. I don't know how you feel about brands that do those whole like two in double in between these kind of sizing, but I like it because I'm always between a small medium anyway. Okay, this feels pretty nice. For not having the built-in padding or anything, I'm actually surprised how compressing and supportive it feels. Yeah, still like medium support, but overall, I like it so far. Ooh, these are nice. Inseam's a little lower in the back. That is brilliant. I really like the seams along the bottom, how they're, they're that like folded over, like a heat pressed seam. There is nothing built into these, so you're gonna wanna wear undies. They do have some nice big pockets in the front too though. And then the elastic feels really nice. It's very, it's a very soft elastic. They are meant to be a high rise and fit a little longer than your typical running short. All right, here are the shorts. I'm impressed by the fit. Normally I always size up in a short, but I went with the small because that's what the sizing guide told me to get. And they fit really quite perfect. Don't look too close at my legs. I was supposed to fix my splotchy tan and I never did. Man, if I were a runner, which I'm not, these would be so nice. Look at that, oh, look at that sparkle. This is like the color combination I didn't know I needed, this navy and teal. I don't even know if the video is doing these justice of how sparkly they really are. And these are also small medium, which I'm very happy about. They are a polyamide polyester elastane material. Made in Portugal, they just are all over the world over here, aren't they? You can machine wash them and towel dry them. That's good, cause that's what I do anyway, regardless of the instructions. Okay, yes. Absolutely yes to these leggings so far. <laughs> so cute. My all-time favorite seamless leggings are still probably the Alphalete ones, and these ones definitely have some of the traits that I love about those. The fact, like I said, that they're plushy and stretchy, and then the waistband is a little bit more compressing than the rest of the legging, so it gives you some nice tummy control. I feel like it's pretty flattering on the hips still, though. There is a front seam. Almost like a fake seam though, because it's definitely not going to dig in. Same thing on the back, just that tiny seam that's like almost more there for looks than anything. Okay, squat test. Not bad. Oh, the design is beautiful. What? Look. Look, he just Oh my gosh. See, it's a little more fitted up top here, but that's kind of what I wanted. Okay, I just sat down to upload those clips that I just filmed to my laptop. And you guys will never guess who I just got a DM from. This is the... If this isn't the universe telling me that I'm on the right track with my YouTube channel. It was literally at the top of my inbox. 
freaking LNDR themselves. They said, we came on here to message you and saw you messaged us a year ago and apologized for not getting back. So <laughs> I scrolled up to look at this message that I sent them and I'm so embarrassed, honestly. <laughs> Hello, LNDR team. I absolutely love your brand. Would you like to collaborate? I can wear your clothing if you provide, take pictures and post to my feed. <laughs> It wouldn't answer me either, honestly. I have 15,000 followers and a YouTube channel with 56,000 followers. That's crazy. Just a baby hope scope trying to get free action <laughs> Anyway, so they apologized and said, we've been noticing a lot of people tagging you on our recent campaign. Would you be interested in reviewing some of our leggings? And I said, good to hear from you. No joke, I just got done filming a review. And, and then I sent him a little selfie of me wearing this outfit. <laughs> also, what exactly are you doing? I made that at Build-A-Bear special for you and you're just ripping it to shreds. Good thing you're cute. <laughs> yeah, good thing. <laughs> What the whole gym outfit of the day? And these shoes. Yeah, that's a nice combo. There was a lot of people at the gym today, so I didn't film my entire workout, which is what I was gonna try to do. But in summary, I did a leg day, lots of front squats and lunges, and a bunch of ab stuff, and I threw in some cardio at the beginning and end of my workout. And now we're back for the final thoughts. The shirt was awesome. Zero complaints there. Perfectly lightweight. I love the little details. I was definitely sweating, but neither the top or the leggings showed it at all. Overall, these were awesome. And like I said, I'm pretty picky about seamless leggings. I feel like they're super flattering. Great fit. The waistband's a teeny bit big. What's new? But I really like how they fit everywhere else. Nice full length. I will definitely be wearing this outfit again. And I'd love to try more stuff from them. Oh, and in case you want an update on how the Instagram conversation's been going. We were both just laughing about how much we sucked at social media in 2017. And then they said they wanted to send us some of the styles that I didn't try this time just to like get some feedback on. <laughs> so that would be cool. Oh, do they do gift cards? They do do gift cards. Well, let's do a giveaway for those of you that have made it all the way to this point in the video. <laughs> Drop me a comment down below. It can be literally anything. You can say hi to Leo. Tell me about your favorite leggings. Suggest a review you want to see. And make sure to leave like a social media handle so that I can get a hold of you. And I'll pick one or two of you to send $100 to LNDR. And Leo and I, come and say bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.